The grand final is locked in. The Broncos will take on the Panthers on Sunday. Penrith are chasing Rugby League's first three-peat since the Eels in the 80s. But I feel like the big storyline seems to be the Broncos. They're in their first grand final since 2015. And if they win it, it will be their first premiership since 2006. Before we dive in and preview the game, I'd love to take you back to that 2006 grand final. Um, we'll start with grand final week and all in all its glory. What do you remember though, about those days leading up to the grand final? Um it was a crazy time, I think. Um, obviously, the, the first time I'd ever been in a grand final, so it was all new. Um, we'd had, a, obviously, a great coach from Wayne Bennett who'd been there plenty of times. So um, he guided us through the week, I, I guess. But it was an exciting week. There's plenty of um, people at training, plenty of media, um, you know, grand final breakfast, all those things that go with it. But um, I think... The whole thing about that week is knowing you've got to get the result um, and it's about keeping a lid on the emotions the whole week and making sure you're on top of that um, so you get to the game and you can you know, get the process right and get a result. So it was really funny that whole week. Um, I just always knew we were going to win it. Um, there was just never once did I ever doubt that we weren't going to win that grand final. So it was a bit of a funny feeling, but um, in the end we got the result. Is it intimidating or could you see it being intimidating for a young player, all the glitz, the glam, the cameras? Oh, look, I think in any big game you can get lost in the emotion of it if you don't keep it in check. Um, you can easily get swept up in the emotion, um, the hype. Um, you can, you know, overplay the game in your head as well uh, if you don't keep on top of those sort of emotions. So it is a really tough week to keep control of all of that whilst trying to enjoy it um but yeah if if you can and you get the process right there's nothing like you know grand final day grand final week and um, when we got the result in 2006 um it's a feeling like no other you'd played the storm twice earlier in that season and had lost both those games so Interestingly, you kind of went into this game just uh, underdogs, despite having a lot of grand final experience. I know that you just said that you were confident, but that underdog tag, did it motivate the squad a little bit as well? Um, well I guess so. I actually see a lot of similarities in where Brisbane are now mm. and coming up against Penrith. Like, we went into that 2006 grand final against a red-hot Melbourne side that had hardly been beaten all year. Um, people didn't think we had a hope at all of beating them, even though we had you know, some big-name players. Melbourne um, were just unbelievable that season. Um, so there's a lot of similarities, I think, in this Bronx team going in against the Panthers. So, um, you know, I do remember one thing. We did sit down in a team meeting, you know, in the lead-up to that game and just thought we're going to take them on through the middle. We knew our strength was our forward pack. Actually, we had strength all over the park, but... Guys like Webke, Brad Thorne, um, you know, Big Petro, Dane Carl, all those sort of guys. We knew if, if they could lay a platform for us, we'd get the job done. And that was, Mel you know, in, in fairness, that was Melbourne's big strength as well. So we decided to tackle it head on and um, we got the job and job done and um, won the game. But a lot of similarities between 2006 and the Broncos today. Probably a similarity too is the forward packs where this weekend's game is going to be, it's going to ex explode in the forwards, right? Yeah, I, um, I think this will be one of the best grand finals we've seen in a while. I, I sort of said it a couple of weeks ago, I thought this would be the grand final. And I think Brisbane are the only team that have got the firepower to beat the Panthers. Um, and you're right, I think they're, they're the only team in the comp that have got the forward pack to match what Panthers produce up front. So uh, it's going to be an intriguing battle, that one. I can't wait to watch it. Uh, it's going to be going to be one to watch. But yeah. Uh, the, the game is as old as it's been. It's been around for 100 years and every single game has always won in the forwards and this grand final will be no different. Go back to 2006. It was Shane Webke's last game, wasn't it? And you were talking just earlier about not getting overawed with the emotion and everything during the week. Was it hard to kind of keep a lid on everything given you had that element to play for as well? Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, there was, you know, we were very aware that it, you know, what Webby meant to the club and had done for a long time and um, we knew it was his last game. Um, obviously, we hadn't been to a grand final for a few years either. So, uh, you know, we'd, we'd had a good side that should have been in the grand final a few years before, but we'd fallen short. So, um, I guess 
when you make them, you want to win them because they are mm. so hard to get into. So, yeah, it, it is really difficult to try and not get swept away in it. Like we said before, it's easy. It's easier said than done. You've got to constantly check yourself throughout the week to, to make sure you're preparing well. And, you know, it's a real fine line between enjoying the week and, and making sure you get the work done and preparing really well. So, yeah, um, as I said, we had a great coach in Wayne who was able to sort of almost coach us through that because he'd been there plenty of times before. You must look back on that um, 2006 season and, and winning that premiership so fondly because so many players go through great careers, play hundreds of games, and they don't ever get there or they don't even they don't ever get a premiership win. So you must look back at that and think, geez, how good. <laughs> it, it's funny, Darcy. When you finish your footy career, the only things you've got are, I guess, the things like playing State of Origin or winning a grand final that you can really reflect upon. Um, so now to be able to sit back and say, oh, I am a premiership winner and I've got the ring um, and understand how important and hard it is to get, not many people get the opportunity to do it. Um, yeah, you do sit back now that you're retired with a real smile on your face and I'm, I'm thankful I got the opportunity. Um, I got it. it happened pretty early on in my career. Yeah. I thought I'd get another couple of opportunities, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> but... You know, like you said, there's a lot of players that never get the opportunity to, to play in one, let alone win one, and um, I was fortunate enough to do it. So cherish the ring that I've got, cherish the memories, and um, as I said, now that I'm retired, it's something I definitely hang my hat on. When you were, like, when you made that decision to retire, do you then, does it kind of sink in, I guess, at that point? You're at the end, end of your career, you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get another one. Does it, I guess, hit you harder going, you know, like, like you said, you, you, you won that premiership so early in your career. And I've heard so many players say it when you, when you win it early, you think, geez, I could get another one here. And then, and when you go to retire, it actually hits you. Hang on a second. It actually is so hard to get there. Oh mate, it is so difficult. You need so much to go right. Mm. That's why when you look at the Panthers and they're about to play in their fourth, it's, it's unheard of. It's incredible to, I guess, think that they're about to, to have another week in the grand final for the fourth time in a row. So, yeah, so much has to go right. You need injuries, form, um, you need the right playing group, you need the right, uh, I guess, mix and cohesion within a group to, to be able to get there and win one. Um, yeah, looking back now that I'm retired, you, you certainly look back and go far out. Like I was actually lucky to win one, but... Um, yeah, some of these guys, like the Panthers, um, you know, even Kevy played in five grand finals or won five grand finals, played in seven. Like, you know, he's just a winner, Kev. Um, and, you know, he's been able to do a wonderful job with this Broncos team. And as I said before, if any team can beat Panthers, it's going to be the Bronx.